my very very first Clay Charm creation tutorial. Okay, sorry, I couldn't think of the word. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this super super cute owl. And you can choose to put a little eye pin in it if you would like to, but you don't have to. You can just have it as a little figurine. So the materials you'll be needing are, of course, a clean workstation to work with and clean hands. Well, mine aren't that clean, but I will probably wash them, maybe. <laughs> they just have clay on them. Um, an eye pin if you decide to make it a keychain or something. A kind of large amount of whatever color you would like to use for the body of your owl, which mine in this case was purple, but I'm going to make it green. You need a little bit of whatever color you want for the tummy, the pink in that case, but I'm using blue. Um, a little bit of black for the pupils, a little bit of white for the outside of the eye, and then orange for the beak and the feet. Tools, you will also need some sort of cutting device. This came with my clay, and I'm using Sculpey's 3 clay. These two purple cutting things. And then I just use one of my old X-Acto knives, because I also make duct tape stuff, and I have an extra X-Acto knife. So you're going to simply start off with a ball of your base color that you want the owl to be, and you're just going to flatten one side, and you want to do all of this on, like, a flat surface, but I'm going to be doing it in air so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to take my thumb and pull up and then flip it around, and this will create the ears of your owl. Okay, so that's kind of what it'll look like. It could be a fat owl or a thin owl. You can make it however you choose. And then you just kind of play around with the body and, like, play around with the ears and kind of make them exactly how you now would like Now you have it. the body of your owl done, you're going to take the tummy color, pink in this case, and you're going to roll an oval and then flatten out that oval so you have a flattened oval. Of course, just what I said. And if it's not looking how you want it to, you could take your cutting device or cutting tool and you can just cut it. But I actually don't want to cut mine because it looks very nice. So, I'm just going to lay it about there on my owl and then just fold the extra down and make sure this sticks very nicely. Okay, you could do that. You can make um, the tummy part protrude a lot, like you can make it thick, you can make it thin, just really however you choose. Since you have the body and the tummy of your owl done, you're going to take a little, little piece, oh, I'm sorry, I just dropped it, a little tiny piece of your orange clay, sorry, I just picked it up, and you're going to kind of make sort of a triangular shape, like a teardrop kind of, and you're going to flatten it out. And it'll probably lose its shape, so I like to take my plastic purple tool, let me move it up a little bit, and just kind of cut a triangle, just like this. Wait, let me show you. Cut a triangle, and then just kind of roll the tip around, and use my fingers and make it so the tip isn't so pointy. And then, I'm going to pick up my little owl dude, and attach the beak, so the part that you like, I'm sorry, keeps falling, so the part that you like is actually on the tummy, and then you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut off the excess, like so, okay, and then you're just going to really cut it off, like there's no other easier way to explain that and it should look like something like that and then you can always pause the video and fix it if to you do the like feet it. you're going to get a little tiny piece of clay and you're going of orange clay or whatever color you want the feet to be they don't have to be the traditional colors and you're going to roll it into a ball like so and then you're going to put it down in your mat or your work area or wherever and simply squish it you're going to like, just squish it down. And then take your knife. Actually, I like to use my X-Acto knife in this case. Cut it simply in half. Now that you have one half of that circle, you're going to take your X-Acto knife or tool, and I'm going to put two 
grooves in it. I don't know if you could really see that. I'm sorry about the camera being all funky today. There you go. You can see the two little grooves that I just put in it. And I'm simply going to pink up my owl and put the foot right underneath. Okay, now you're going to do the exact same steps that I just showed you to make the other foot and then attach the other foot. Once you have the feet how you like them, there is one final step, and I bet you guys can guess what it is, making the eyes. So you're going to get two tiny blobs of clay, and you're going to roll them into two little circles. Okay, let me, and you want to make sure that they're relatively even, because with the eyes next to each other, it's super, super easy to tell, wow, that eye is really big and that eye is really small. So you're going to get the two balls, you're going to smush both of them, like so. Oh, can't see it on the screen. Smush both of them until you get the perfect round shape. If that right. tactic of um, rolling out little balls and then smushing it on your mat isn't working, you can just take the little white ball, you could put it almost where you want it, and then you can smush it down when it's there because um, the uh, clay kept sticking in my hand, so I thought I'd show you guys that technique too. And then you want to take a little tiny piece of black clay, you can barely see it, and put it right in the middle of where the, of where the white is, and then smush it down gently. And then now, I have my other eye, I already pre-made that eye. And you can tell that the one eye is really much bigger than the other, but I kind of like that, so I might keep it, but by the end of the video, I might end up taking it off. Now, time for your hook thing. They're called eye pins, and I was able to find um, a pack of a hundred of them for like two bucks at Walmart. So they're very affordable. You want to make sure it does not poke through the bottom. And then, Presto Magic, you have your little owl. If you choose to put wings on the side, you can use an exacto knife and draw them in, or you can actually make wings. So there we go. I have the mama bird and the baby bird, or the husband bird, whichever. But since that one's smaller, it'll be the baby owl. So uh, you can make a whole bunch of these. It really doesn't take much clay. And as you can tell, it doesn't take that much time either. Like if I wasn't making a tutorial, I could probably make one in three minutes or so. So yeah, I hope you enjoy.